This is Kyron Mayfield with your News in 90. Santa Fe College is being recognized nationally for an award given to one of its own. The college was one of just 26 community colleges in the country that had a student faculty or staff member earn the prestigious recognition. Santa Fe College Associate Vice President Dan Rodkin was awarded the scholarship to study overseas. He spent two weeks in Russia attending a community college administrator's seminar last April. Rodkin says this is not just a one-time opportunity and hopes that more students will get the chance to experience an education internationally. A former presidential candidate says he's running for president again in 2020. Bernie Sanders entered the presidential race Tuesday morning. The independent senator from Vermont will try again after finishing as the Democratic Party's runner-up to Hillary Clinton in the 2016 election. He released an email of targeted issues for his campaign. These involve health insurance and drug companies, the fossil fuel industry, and Wall Street. Sanders will seek nomination from the Democratic Party again, but joins an already crowded field of nearly a dozen candidates. The White House welcomes an official Chinese delegation as trade talks continue between the two largest economies in the world. The meetings could be a step closer to ending the tariff war between the two nations. Both sides will be discussing market access, protection on intellectual property, and a Chinese pledge to buy a set amount of U.S. goods and services. President Trump already delayed increasing tariffs for 90 days back in December. The hope is to get a trade deal before March 1st. After that, tariffs would increase from 10% to 25% on $200 billion of Chinese products. That's your News in 90, but your Florida news is always on at WUFT.org.